Hello YouTube world, my name is Serene and welcome to Staying Serene. Staying Serene is a place where I encourage and inspire Christian youths to live by faith, pursue their dreams, and glorify God with their lives. Today I'm going to be sharing a serene diary on taking your walk seriously. So let's get right into this video. I find that as Christians, it's so easy to neglect our walk with God. It's so easy to just place it on the back burner and just forget about it. I honestly sometimes struggle with taking my walk seriously and being consistent in it. But as believers, God matters to us and we make time for what matters to us. So we need to make time for God since he matters to us. We can't neglect or ignore our walk because it's such an important part of who we are as believers. So it's very important that we make sure that we are intentional with our walk and we make sure that God is a priority, number one place in our lives. So how do we do this? Well, firstly, we need to make sure that we spend time with our Heavenly Father. This is so very important. You can't learn about God without spending time with Him, especially since you love Him, you desire to be in His presence and to learn from Him. And so we need to spend time in the Word of God. Um, I actually did a Serene Saturday a few months back on why we should be in the Word as believers, so please go up into the iCards and check that out. But I just want to encourage you to make sure that you do get in the Word and that you do study it because that is how you grow in the Lord. That's how you're going to learn more about your Heavenly Father and become more like Him. Well, what I do is I actually wake up a bit earlier so that I can spend time in the Word of God and pray and that's a habit that I've been trying to build in the last few weeks and it's a difficult habit to build because you know I just want to lay in bed and sleep but it's a very important one for my walk because it's making sure that I spend intentional time with God that I'm coming in his presence and that I'm saying this time oh Lord is for you just for you and me it's like a quiet time almost like going into the secret place and making sure that I is making sure that I come to God and that I am spending time with him and I'm studying his word, I'm in prayer. And I find that when I wake up in the morning, I want to make sure that God, he's in charge of my day. I want him to lead me and to guide me through the day. And so that also means that I want to start my day with God. So I do enjoy coming to him first because it almost sets the tone for my whole day. I never regret coming to God in the morning. And in fact, sometimes I can see that my, my, um, that my day sometimes gets away from me when I don't spend time with God first. And so it's a really important part of my day to spend time with Him. Now you may not have time in the morning, that's okay. We all have different schedules. So I just want to encourage you to find any time of the day where you are free to spend time with God. If God is priority in life, you will make time to spend with Him. So whether that's in the morning like me, or if it's midday or the evening, or right before you go to bed, make sure you spend intentional time with God, making sure that you're going to His Word, that you're being in prayer, and that you're committing yourself to growing the relationship that you two have with one another. Secondly, you need to make feeding your spirit a daily practice. So in today's day and age, it's way too easy to feed our flesh and to neglect our spirit. Some of us, our spirit men, they're starving because we haven't been doing anything to nourish and strengthen them. And what I mean by feeding your spirit is doing things that help you in your walk, that help to grow you, that encourage and inspire you in your walk. And this is actually in every area. This isn't just one thing. You know, God, he isn't just, okay, then you spend time with me once a day and that's it. I'm talking about every area of your life, how everything should be connected to feeding your spirit and neglecting your flesh and making sure that you starve it. So that includes the movies and TV shows that you watch. Are you feeding your spirit or are you feeding your flesh? Is what you're watching encouraging you or promoting you to sin? Is it distracting you? There are so many distractions and temptations all around us. And sometimes what we watch and what we take in, those are distractions and temptations to us. So please make sure that you are watching things that help to glorify God and to encourage and inspire you on your walk. Um, the music that you listen to, are you listening to music that glorify and honor God or are you listening to the music of this world that distracts you, that dishonors God and that encourages you to go along with the things of this world and to be involved in like sex and all of these other things that we know that we should be avoiding as young believers. Um, also this in includes things that you read, the books that you read, are you reading stuff that um, encourage your walk? Are you reading good Christian books that are building you up and not tearing you down? Um, I have a bunch of Christian book reviews on this channel that you can check out if you want Christian books that help to build you up in the spirit. But I just do want to encourage you to watch what you watch, watch what you listen to, watch what you read. Because all of these, they're either building your spirit or they're building your flesh. They're either doing one or the other and you need to make sure that they are building your spirit. It is a daily practice. This goes beyond the content that you consume on a daily basis. This includes the people that you 
hang out with? Are you hanging out with friends that are building up in the Lord, who are encouraging you in the Spirit? Or are you hanging out with friends that are encouraging you to sin, who are encouraging you to turn away from God and to follow your fleshy nature? That includes your family and friends too. Are they building you up in the spirit? Are you devoting yourself to spending time with people who honor God, who have the same pursuits as you, who have a, who are just building you up in the Lord, who are pouring into your life, pouring into your soul and your spirit? This is also looks at how you spend your time. Like, are you, are you regularly going to church and to Bible study? Are you regularly committing yourself to the things of the Lord? Are you being intentional and making sure that you are pursuing godly things? This is so so very important. Feeding your spirit is a daily practice, especially when you're growing the Lord, because if you're not feeding your spirit, you're starving it. And there's no way that you can that you can progress on this walk, that you can grow and improve on this walk with the Holy Spirit if you're not growing your spirit. There is just no way. So I really do encourage you, please feed your spirit and neglect your flesh. Make sure that you're pouring into yourself, that you're listening to podcasts and sermons, that you're reading good godly Christian books, that you're watching TV shows and movies that build you up. Make sure that you are building yourself up in the Lord and not tearing yourself down. And thirdly, you need to be faithful in your service to the Lord. You know, God has called us all to add to his church and to his community. God has all given us gifts to use for his kingdom and for his glory. And we need to be faithful in the ways that he has called us to do. And honestly, I've struggled with this because there, God has called me to start this YouTube channel and to grow it and to make sure that I am being consistent and faithful. But honestly, I have not always been so consistent as I am right now. And... I am devoting myself to returning back to being consistent and faithful. But God has called all of us to do something, and that may not be being a YouTube channel. He may call you to minister at church, or to be a youth leader, or to sing on the praise team, or to play the piano or the drums. He's all called us to do different things, maybe to work in the sound room. And this may not even be just for church, because God can call you to do things outside of the church as long as you are um, adding to the kingdom of God. You know, we are all, including you, we are all brothers and sisters in Christ. And God has called us to add to the body. God has called us to contribute our gifts that He has given us for His glory to the body. So we need to make sure that we're using it through we're being faithful in the service that He has called us to do. And this is such a broad category because I have no idea what God is calling you to do, but I want to encourage you to do it well. Do it with excellence and make sure that you are being faithful and consistent in what you are doing. You need to be obedient to whatever God is calling you to do. and Because there's no way that you can take your walk seriously if you're not being obedient to Christ and what he has specifically called you to do. So whatever area that may be, whatever category, whatever God has called you to do, please do it. And do it faithfully. Do it with a cheerful attitude. Do it unto the Lord. This is your reasonable service. This is what he's called you to do. And you have no idea how you're encouraging and inspiring and helping the kingdom by your obedience. So Please be faithful in the service that God has called you to do, whether that's in church, outside the church. We all have a ministry that he has called us to do. We all have a calling on our lives, a purpose, and we need to make sure that we follow it. So those are the three things that we need to do to make sure that we are taking our walk seriously. I know that it is so, so easy to neglect our walk and to just put it on the back burner, to ignore it, and to think, oh, well, it's not important. But really... As a Christian, this is important. Your walk with God is so important to your growth as a Christian. And take it seriously. Make sure that you're doing all that God has called, to do, called you to do, that you're spending time with your Heavenly Father, that you are feeding your spirit and neglecting your flesh, and that you are being faithful in all the service that God has called you to do. This walk, it is not easy, but it is so, so worth it. And I just want to encourage you that this is not a game. So do not treat your walk as a game. This is real life. This is your life as a believer. And this is you storing up treasures in heaven. This is making sure that you are living a life that is aligned to what God has called you to do. So please, I encourage you, take your walk seriously. I hope that this message was very encouraging to all of my young believers out there. And I hope that you really got something out of this message and that you take your walk seriously. I actually have an Instagram account at Stanks where you can find inspirational and encouraging content that I create myself. Please go out there. I have a lot of amazing quotes that will be sure to encourage and inspire you on your walk. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I can't wait to see you in the next one. Okay, bye!